think that healthy food can be so intimidating especially when you're looking at those recipes on like tiktok and reels and it's like whoa I, I i don't know how to make this and i don't know how to make it pretty most of my meals do not look pretty you guys they are not cute <laughs> i think i have some um cacao nibs i'm gonna make like a little chocolate chocolate oatmeal situation when i plan out my meals um i like to think of it as a breakdown of protein i want to have some sort of protein in there i want to have some sort of carb and some sort of fat over the comments of my last video and someone left a request that I'm going to fulfill today and I'm so excited. What's in my fridge, freezer, pantry? And I figured I could combine that with how I plan out my meals. It would be really fun to do it on a day where I feel like everything is really organized and I had just gotten grocery shopping and my fridge and pantry, everything's filled, but I feel like that's just not realistic. So this is a random day. We have not gone grocery shopping. I haven't even looked of what's in my pantry in a very long time so we're gonna check that out together because i feel like it is way more <laughs> authentic and you guys can see just what's going on on a random day and how i plan out my meals uh for the week we are going to get into how i plan out my recipes and all of that but i do have a reformer pilates class or a legree class um in about 30 minutes here and i just put on my new favorite outfit if you would have told me like three years ago or four years ago, six years ago, whenever I started this YouTube channel, that I was going to get to work with Nike, I think I would have passed out. <laughs> I have a couple of pieces here to show you guys. I'm obsessed with all of them. The one that I currently have on right now, I'm not going to butcher this, I'm gonna look at my phone. It's their Late Trace Women's Light Support Padded Strappy Sports Bra. I know this is light support. I feel like this has more support than a lot of my other sports bras. To me, this just feels like the perfect amount of support. Like I can definitely I could run in this, maybe not sprint in this sports bra, but you could definitely run in it. It has removable cups, which I actually haven't removed yet. Every single time I get a new sports bra, I will always take it out. But in this, I feel like it kind of works and looks really cute. And I'm really excited to test it out in my class today. Next thing I want to talk about are the shoes you guys told me put on earlier in the video this morning. Nike Free Metcon 5 Women's Training Shoe. I have them in the size 7.5 love the color i love the feel they're very light when you put them on it doesn't feel like a heavy shoe you could work out in these you can wear them casually i think they're pretty versatile and they just look so cute on i love the little pop of pink on these um the next thing that i have on are the nike zenvi women's gentle support high-waisted leggings in the seventh eighth length i can't say enough good things about these leggings they totally totally pass the squat test if only you guys could feel like how comfortable this material is it's incredible if you're looking for a good pair of leggings that can be versatile that you can wear you know to work out or just to have a nice cute athleisure outfit on for like matcha or coffee or running errands or whatever um they're perfect all right so i just changed into my next outfit and i'm actually really excited to tell you guys about these biker shorts that nike has recently come out with they're called the one leak protection biker shorts the coolest part about these shorts is that they include a super thin absorbent liner so if you're on your period you can safely and comfortably wear these shorts and you don't have to worry about any kind of leaking through especially when you're working out that's just not something you ever want to worry about and they also have a sewn-in brief to move with you as you can tell they don't look any different from their regular biker shorts also the waistband is contoured i don't know if you guys can see but it's contoured with a v-shape in the back just to give you a really nice smooth silhouette and then last but not least is the sports bra this is their indie plunge cutout medium support padded sports bra 
it's so cute. I don't even know what else to say about it. I just think it's so cute. It just feels like a classic sports bra for literally anything that you need. And I love this little extra cut out for some design. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Nike today. I'm so excited that I get to work with them. I'm so excited to bring you guys these new shorts that I feel like are gonna be so great for anyone who feels like maybe they are too worried about working out on their period. We've all been there. We've all been like, you know what? I'm just not gonna go today. So if you guys are interested, I will have every product linked in the description bar of today's video in the order that I talked about them in. I'm gonna bring you guys to my workout. We are going to plan out our meals for the rest of the week and um, we're gonna sit down and write it all out. But first I have to go make sure I make it to my class. As you guys can see, I don't usually touch this part here. I do need mix assistance, but to start off, we have some pasta sauce, a whole lot of pure Elizabeth granola. We have the apple walnut, cinnamon peanut butter. We have the banana nut, coconut cashew, anything you can find. Anything you can find with pure Elizabeth, you can find in our pantry. We have this little snack mix up here, which probably needs to be thrown out because <laughs> we don't eat it. Then we have some of these organic udon noodles. They're great for stir fry or soup. We should actually make this. It sounds mm -hmm. really good. We got some pasta, which Nick had about two days ago. Almond flour crackers from Simple Mills. And then last but not least, we have these Pro Mix vegan cereal bars. They're perfect for on the go if you're ever in a, in a hurry. So on our second shelf here, we have some creamy buckwheat cereal and organic oats. Some more purely Elizabeth granola, it should be up there. Um, this is in case we, Nick ever gets hungry. We have some flat anchovies and olive oil, pistachios, which are great to snack on. We have some organic ground flax seeds and sour golden berries, which Nick got for me a while well back. Um, we also have our almond flour, some organic dried mangoes, which I'm obsessed with. Banana bread muffin mix, which we should make. <laughs> Sounds so good. And this is our favorite uh, pancake mix. Yeah, oh yeah. So good. It's the paleo mix from Bob's Red Mill. The ingredients are amazing. Tastes like regular pancakes. You guys already know. <laughs> obsessed with these. And some more oatmeal because you can never have too much oatmeal. All right, on our last shelf here, we have a cookie that we will eat later. <laughs> we have some California jasmine white rice and some buckwheat or parechka in Ukrainian. It's traditional food for me. Just cacao nibs these little grain-free cookies from Hue. These are so good. so good. We have some organic chia seeds. Justin's hazelnut and almond butter. Need I say more, it's so good. And these organic <laughs> coconut cookies. I love these. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these too. Yeah, this is a this is a good video. These are all my all my favorite things that we keep in mind. Obsessed with these. Nick loves them. Maybe we should make this tonight. This is the organic superfood black rice. So convenient. We have hazelnut toffee chocolate and a couple of truffles. That's it. That's our entire pantry. Extra virgin olive oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and lots of avocado oil. Cute. That's it. Oh, and we have like, I guess we keep random things up here too. This is like our bread, lots of lemons, as you guys can see. We have some cuties and some potatoes and some fruit. That's it. And this cutie. Okay, let's start off on this side here. I feel like this fridge is perfect for little supplements, which is so great. Obviously, you guys can see I love Symbiotica so much. I think they make some of the best quality supplements on the market. So I have the Heart Health, which has CoQ10 and Nositol. 
thread yeast rice. I mean, these are all really great, great stuff. Um, the magnesium one, this magnesium can actually um, go through the blood brain barrier, which is really, really great. We have some St. James organic black tea, our dose for your liver, which we still take pretty much every single day. Um, and then some more supplements in here as well. We have the glutathione, which is so good for your gut health. The super greens, not gonna lie. This is probably my least favorite. Like I do not like the way this tastes, the citrus lime. That's why we have a bunch of it. Um, and then we have the um, activated charcoal, which is really great if you ever just feel um, like maybe you've got some sort of bug or something in your stomach, like this is just going to absorb everything. Let's go through this side now. We have our our new barn organic almond milk. We have some pure cranberry juice, not sweetened. Some organic creamy and unsalted peanut butter. And one little truffle. Primal Kitchen ketchup, of course. Primal Kitchen mayo, my favorite, one of my favorite brands, honestly. Um, we have this Noor lemon caper, lemon caper dressing and sauce. It's so good, you guys. I can't recommend it enough. We have another unsweetened almond milk from New Barn. And then up here is a little bit of a mess. Um, I keep a few of my favorite treats sitting to be in the refrigerator up here. Apparently, <laughs> with some cheese. This cheese is mixed cheese. So I'm going to move that. This is my little drawer. We have Urban Remedy Superfood Double Chocolate Cookies. I have it in a big one and a little one. I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. French Squirrel, of course. Probably one of my favorite desserts to have anytime in any time of the day. And these Urban Remedy Sun Square Sunflower Butter and Cacao bars. They're so good. I have two lemons. Okay. Now up here we have our eggs. I have two different kinds because I think I forgot that I still had some here. But they are organic pasture-raised eggs. We have some butter, 100% grass-fed organic unsalted butter. And we also have Bernard's dog food <laughs> up here as well. Random. Dijon mustard, so good. And then over here, my grandparents last night made some holubtsi, which is a Ukrainian dish. It's a cabbage stuffed with like rice and beef and um, other veggies. It's so good. So it's in here, we're gonna have it for lunch later. All right, shelf number two, the best creamer that you'll find. It's a superfood creamer with adaptogens. In here, we actually have a slow cooked chicken. It's a full chicken, I'll show you guys. <laughs> a little sneak peek. We still cooked it last night and we actually really like to throw it in the fridge and let it sit there for like a couple of hours and then we warm it up for some reason. I don't know why, but it tastes better in my opinion. Um, we have some pure maple spread. This is so good. I got this in Montreal when I was visiting. And then we have some veggies. We have asparagus and broccolini. I have some fish here as well. Probably going to have some of that or make some of that later today just because it's going to go bad soon. Um, this right here is our bee pollen. I like to add that to any kind of yogurt bowls, oatmeal, anything like that. And some harmless harvest coconut water. All right, moving on to the third shelf. We have two of these breakfast burritos. These are mostly for Nick. Some pasta sauce, the truffle sauce, and then organic tomato and basil. We have like random little shredded carrots and some rice cauliflower and some green onion. That's pretty much it. As you guys can see, again, this is not very organized and not very prepared for this, but I feel like this is the most realistic version that I could give you. In here, we have some celery for our celery juices in the morning, and then half of the cabbage that my grandma was using to be oh, That is all that is in our refrigerator right now, this moment. Obviously, we do need to go grocery shopping. All right, let's go into the freezer part. So, seafood medley. I love to have this in my freezer just because I feel like it's so easy to unfreeze this and have it in any kind of way. You know, you can have it with rice, you can have it with pasta, you can have it on top. It's a great source of protein. It's just super easy. We have two pizza crusts from Bonza. These are so great. They're made from chickpeas. And then the Siete almond flour taco shells and burritos. I'm obsessed with these. You guys know I love them. Can't say enough good things about them. <laughs> Um, and oh my gosh, and here we have all of the last crumb cookies that got sent to us last week. These are incredible. We do have to freeze them because they do go bad. Honestly, not too much stuff in our freezer. That's my refrigerator tour for you guys on a very random day. Let's go ahead and move on to the pantry. All right, guys, I am just sitting down now to 
plan out my meals for the week and I want to just kind of take you through so you can see my thought process of when I do this. I would love to say that I do this every single week. Honestly, I don't. I would say I do this about once a month when I'm ready to switch up my meals and uh, when I feel like I'm just tired of what I've been eating lately. So. I have a few tips for you guys if you're someone who just wants to get into meal planning and just eating healthier. I feel like it's really good to have a plan. I think a lot of people feel like eating healthy is just so overwhelming and you're either eating the same thing all the time or it takes too much time to plan it and prep it and whatever. Um, so number one tip that I have for you is actually go through your fridge, through your freezer, your pantry and just see what you have. I feel like a lot of us will get ingredients thinking that we're going to do some crazy recipe and that we don't do them and they end up sitting in our freezer for months and months. Sit down and kind of write down like what are the easiest meals that you can make just from the things that are in your pantry and in your fridge. So for example, if a lot of pasta. So one of my dinner ideas that I think is super easy to meal prep and can last for days on end, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for dinner, for anything, is some of that pasta with the frozen fish that I have, the frozen fish medley in my freezer. Mixing that together with some sauce and adding any kind of vegetable that you have in your refrigerator is so easy. And when I plan out my meals, um, I like to think of it as a breakdown of protein. I want to have some sort of protein in there. I want to have some sort of carb and some sort of fat. Um, so for example, for this pasta dish, right, we're going to use, obviously, the pasta, which is going to be my carb source, frozen fish medley, which is my protein. And I'm going to add some oil to that, whatever oil I have. I think that's like avocado or grapeseed or whatever. Olive oil would be the best, but for my fats. So that's kind of the base of the meal. And then I want to add micronutrients to that. So any kind of vegetables that I have, any kind of, you know, spices are really good for you too, just to season it. Um, anything that can give it a little bit more vitamins. And that right there, you can make at least two to three meals out of that. You can have a really like hearty dinner and have some leftovers for the next day for lunch, which I think is super easy. I feel like the second biggest tip I have for you is to utilize your dinners and just make them a little bit bigger anytime that you're making any kind of recipe double it you will probably be inspired to cook two to three times a week and the other times you're gonna be lazy and you're gonna be so grateful that you doubled your recipe and you have something for either lunch or for dinner the next day I feel like lunch is really hard for me personally that's the that's the part where I struggle with the most here's what I do for lunch I Think of meals that are under five minutes to make. For this week, I'm going to plan out just from like the things that I have. I have some canned fish that I'm going to use up. For that, I'm going to make a big batch of white rice since I have a whole lot of that. And I'm going to add avocado. I believe I have some other veggies in there. Again, whatever kind of veggies I have laying around, it's just gonna get thrown in there, whatever it is. Such an easy lunch idea, I could have that at least twice a week too. And another thing that's going in my lunch category is dinner leftovers. So for example, we still cooked a chicken. We're gonna have that chicken tonight. Obviously we can't eat the entire chicken for dinner. So what I'm going to do is make some chicken salad for the next day and have that for lunch with some rice. It's also such an easy, such an easy idea. And you guys, utilizing the slow cooker has been the best thing ever for us. It's so easy. You don't have to think about it. It really just, it does the work for you. I feel like that's pretty good for lunches. I don't wanna have too many ideas because sometimes I like just, you know, wanna have a simple avocado toast or peanut butter toast or something that's just, so easy or even like a little yogurt bowl that you guys saw me having earlier in this video just something that literally you put together you take it out of the fridge put it together and that's it um but like the reason that i make a meal plan like this is because if i'm ever just so out of ideas and i don't want to have my typical normal stuff it's really nice to refer to this and just have an idea of what i can make now breakfast you guys saw i have so much oatmeal i have to start utilizing that oatmeal um and i have a whole lot of pancake mixes and um, flowers and this list is really simple you guys i don't have like a chart or anything i'm just writing down random ass ideas i've just realized like the way that i stay committed to this lifestyle and the reason i've been doing it for the last eight years and it's easy it's because it's not rigid it's not rigid this for me this little list it's just a tiny little plan to help me stay on track and 
aid me in staying on track but I don't want to feel like I'm tied down to some crazy schedule like if I want to change my mind and I want to go get Thai food one night I want to go do that um, I don't want to feel like some list is telling me that I can or can't eat something so however that you know however that applies to you if you're someone like no I really really enjoy having like a PowerPoint presentation of this stuff and having a chart and having it be planned out I just want to look at it and know what I'm eating perfectly fine you can do that uh, but you don't have to do that but anyways oatmeal the amount of oatmeal recipes that you can make it's I mean the list goes on and on so um, I personally really like to do overnight oats I love adding I love overnight oats. I, th I personally think overnight oats are actually the easiest thing to meal prep if you are on the go and you want to just grab it out of your fridge and eat it in the car. So easy. You just need oatmeal, any kind of you know milk that you prefer. I love almond milk. Um, any kind of seeds like chia seeds, hemp seeds, anything to give it a little bit of fats. I think I have some um, cacao nibs. I'm gonna make like a little chocolate, chocolate oatmeal situation since we, we know I love chocolate. Um, and then another thing that's great for breakfast is yogurt bowls. They're so easy, so good for you. I think that's pretty good. Oh, and obviously, you know, you guys saw I have eggs in my fridge. Like, even meal prepping some hard boiled eggs and combining that with some rice and some like cucumber and avocado. Um, that's such an easy breakfast idea and you're covering all your bases, your protein, your fat, and your carbs. That's just how I would look at um, meals, especially if you want simple things. Like you don't have to follow some crazy recipe. I mean, you can and it's fun and it's great, but you don't have to, you can just combine simple ingredients together, season them well, and it can be a great meal and it, it won't make you feel like you have to like give so much of your time and effort into this. The last few tips that I have are save recipes. Like if you see a recipe and you're like, wow, that looks so good, maybe I don't have time to do it this week or next week, but just save it on your phone, take a little screenshot, write it down, whatever it is. There will be a time in your life where you can find a moment to try it. And I think playing around with food can be really fun when it's not stressful. So um, don't stress yourself out to like try it immediately, but save it. And then I think the last tip is something that I think could be really fun is having theme nights. So for example, you know, if once a week you're like, I want to do a Thai based recipe and you can try curry or pad Thai or, you know, whatever, Hawaiian food theme night or Caribbean or um, Ukrainian as my grandparents are here now and we have a lot of Ukrainian dishes and I look forward to it so much. Um, and like trying new recipes from different cultures I think is really fun, can really switch up your routine, especially if you're someone who does eat the same food all the time. Just having that one day of like, okay, we're trying something totally different and we're gonna cook it from scratch and whatever, it's, it makes it more exciting to eat all the boring, normal stuff that you normally do. That's it, that's my tips for you guys. I know that they're simple and I think sometimes maybe you just need a reminder that it's not that hard and it doesn't have to be that complicated. I think that healthy food can be so intimidating, especially when you're looking at those recipes on like TikTok and Reels and it's like, whoa, I, I, I don't know how to make this and I don't know how to make it pretty. Most of my meals do not look pretty, you guys. They are not cute, <laughs> but you know, I love them and they make me feel good. I'll leave you with that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in